trying to get costs down. A new Gallup poll shows that 24% of Americans have um, spending less, they've changed their spending habits. 17% are driving less because of inflation. 17% have traveled less or canceled vacations. The president's been to his beach house six times. He went on vacation in North and South Carolina. Is he considering any spending cuts for the administration or for himself personally because of inflation? Wait, can you say that part again? Yeah, so the president is, 17% uh, of Americans have, according to this Gallup poll, have canceled vacations or traveled less. Mm -hmm. The president's been to his beach house six times this year. He's been in North and South Carolina on vacation. Has the president himself considered personally reducing his spending because of inflation or had the administration uh, reduced spending? So can I, I, I'll say this. Um, the times that the president has gone to Delaware, uh, not including, and we were very clear that when he went to South Carolina uh, in August and uh, Rehoboth, he was going to go spend time with his family, which every president does. That is not unusual. That is not uncommon uh, to do. And the president has a right to spend time with his family, just like every other American across the country. And so that was that piece of uh, what what occurred in, in August. Uh, as it relates to trips that he's made uh, to Delaware, uh, look, the way we see that, is the president could be president anywhere. Uh, he can uh, he can work uh, from the residence. He can work from the Oval Office. He can work uh, uh, from Delaware, and uh, that is uh, that is the work. That is what he's able to do as president of the United States. Uh, look, when it comes to inflation, the president has been very clear on this. When it comes to his economic plan and dealing with inflation, he's doing everything that he can to. Why do you guys keep saying the Inflation Reduction Act is reducing? Prices. Because in the Inflation Reduction Act, when you look at Medicare, seniors who are paying, again, I just stated this, $2,000, $3,000 a month, and it's going to now cap that at $2,000 a year, that is lowering costs. But a majority of Americans now say that price increases are causing them financial hardship. That is more than at the start of the year. So where's the inflation reduction for everything else? So here's the thing, the Inflation Reduction Act. Okay, all right, well, um, okay, so that's been confirmed. Okay, the royal family. Let's call with allies. Um, in the readout, uh, they mentioned that uh, they talked about Russia's weaponization of energy and the need to, um, you know, uh, coordinate on, on sustainable and affordable energy. Um, is the president concerned that gas prices, you mentioned that they're coming down, is he concerned about them increasing again? In here in the U.S.? I mean, the president's doing everything that he can uh, to make sure that we lower the cost for the American people. Uh, this has been a priority for him, and he took really bold actions to see the uh, the trend that we have seen, see, been seeing with gas prices, right? 86 days, they've been trending down. Uh, and so we're encouraged by that. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been, you know, work that, again, his leadership from the uh, Strategic Petroleum uh, uh, and uh, making sure that we tap those that historic tapping of the strategic petroleum of well he took bold actions and now we're seeing uh, we're seeing that effect so look we're going to continue to take uh, to, to look at all options uh, we're going to continue to make sure we keep cost down for uh, for the American people including at the pump um, the White House believes it could have an effect on uh, the downward trend with uh, gas prices? So, again, you know, we've done the work uh, to see the uh, prices of gas at the pump go down uh, every day this summer, uh, conse consecutive days, 86 days. Uh, it's uh, at $3.75 per gallon nationally. And uh, so we've done the work to do that. What we see uh, this will help us do is ensure long-term clean energy supply for this country. And so this is, uh, this is a reason why we think this is important. And just lastly on that, is there any concern, there's obviously differences amongst Democrats on this, um, that this could sink a CR and lead to a government shutdown? Meaning this particular yeah, this look, issue. The way that we we see this is uh, this is not the first time that we're going through a process, a CR process. We did it last year, uh, and we believe that it can happen again. That the Congress can can move forward and get the CR done. To America, um, Axios reporting that Kevin McCarthy is going to unveil this economic agenda later this month in Pittsburgh. Among the items it dictates is a desire to put an end to Build Back Better. Presumably that refers to the Inflation Reduction Act. What's the president's view 
on that, given it's being celebrated by Democrats as his, one of his signature achievements? I, look, it says everything that one of the first acts uh, that uh, Kevin McCarthy does is wanting to get rid of the Inflation Reduction Act, which we know, which we know the Inflation Reduction Act is going to uh, help lower costs for, and also make a real effort in uh, energy costs and climate change, lowering those costs as well. So the fact that that's the thing, that's what uh, Kevin McCarthy wants to do, uh, tells you everything that you know, that we need to know, that they...